I be on the block on the regular, snitching on my friends and cousin on the regular, telling you all my bitches on the regular. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy Chef from Off the Dome, and I be doing videos on the regular, like my boy 69. Today we're gonna to talk about how 69 snitching may cause someone to wind up like Jerry Epstein. And I know it's an odd connection because Jerry Epstein was the billionaire, obviously, and he had much more to dish out on people than 69 does. 69 is bringing down. Some major drug dealers in the New York area, but he's not bringing down world leaders, I don't believe. So, it's a stretch, but it could happen. Because everyone's saying, why does he sound so scared in the court? Why is he talking all calm? Why hasn't he been this and that? First of all, you guys don't understand PR. 6 9 has to sound like this in the court. Because he wants people to sympathize with him. He wants people to feel sorry for him. He's always had a soft voice. So, he's using that to his advantage. He wants to seem like the shy... Um, confused little Hispanic slash white. I don't know what he is. Little Hispanic boy he is. So he's going to try his best to sound sweet and innocent as shy as possible. That's his job. That's what you have to do when you're on trial for almost when you're on trial and could possibly go to jail for 45 years. So hell yeah. I would make my voice sound tanky as fuck if I was on trial for that shit. Anyway. We get to the next subject at hand which is the snitching and will that danger his life? Oh, hell yeah. They say he's scared for his life right now. He's in protection. Only one for seven. There's plenty of people in New York and other places around the United States that want to get their hands on him. There's a possibility. And I hate to say this, but there's a possibility he could wind up getting a so-called suicide. Or he could be so, so-called, you know, natural causes. There's a possibility he's not cool wind up like Jerry Epstein. So I think people need to look out for that. The snitching thing, yeah. But like I said in yesterday's video. Snitching is inevitable. You're going to do it. Majority of people do it. You can try to pretend it's 1952 and we're in the mafia all you want. But the truth is we're not. We're in the era where if your homeboy shoots somebody, you see it. And they tell you since you was driving the car, you about to get this life in prison with him. Your homeboy, so like my boy Lil TJ said, fuck nigga, I don't trust nigga. Said, nah, 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 I'm gonna fuck nigga. <laughs> he about to be a F nigga. He don't trust niggas. So, yeah, that's what he's about to do. He's about to write that statement down. He, and if he's Hispanic, and a lapis, and a papel, he's going to write that thing down. And when he writes it down, you can say, he ain't real. He ain't a real nigga. He ain't died for the set. He folded. I ain't never fold. Everybody says that. But do you know how many people probably gave him information? You know how many rappers out here probably giving information right now on other rappers? 6 9 just getting televised and getting covered right now. You know, rappers in the background probably giving deals right now because they got charts about to come against them. So, yeah. Yeah, remember. You got all these rappers that go to jail for these charges that normal person would get about 5 to 10 years for. They be coming out in 3 months. Now, I know money's part of the motive. But you got to know that to some degree they're probably telling everyone else. Because there's no way you go to jail for, you know, assault, sexual assault, Guns, um, possession, illegal distribution of drugs, um, all types of stuff rappers get in trouble for. There's no way you get charged with all this stuff and then you wind up out and free. You go to jail in March, you get out in November. That, that's not possible. A normal person, we got in jail right now for gun, possession, distribution of drugs, and assault or something like that. But we got stopped by a cop. We got all this stuff on us. We'll probably be in there to 2022. These guys get out. In either a couple weeks or a couple months or a year at the worst. So yeah, overall, six nine life is in danger. And for everybody laughing, just remember Jerry Epstein. That only happened a month ago. Now six nine is no billionaire type dude that could bring down a whole establishment, but he has brought down some heavy hitters in the um, gang world and the drug world. And eventually, he'll probably get to some white people. So you know it's gonna get dangerous for him soon. So anyway, to the cost six nine. Hey, you did your dirt. You gotta. Get your consequence, but for snitching, a lot of people understand it, so I don't want to admit it. But anyway, that's your boy Chef from Off the Dome. Peace out.